Again, these are silver tip bullets fired into cotton boxes. They didn't expand because the cocoon wrapped them. Do you want to make this an exhibit? Yes, I would like that. The next okay. uh, number to exhibit. And we need to, uh, I don't know about these slides. Do you, do you have copies that we can make together? I don't know how much that could be read from the camera. Um, we have the real pictures. We've got those exhibits. We've got some static displays too, so that That'd may be, be a, a useful to you. That'd be fine. In additional paper, because Let's I take these exhibit A, and then you'll furnish uh, exhibit B, which will be the collective slides. In another paper <clears throat> that I wrote on the evidentiary value of the contents of hollow point bullets, in the practice of forensic pathology, any bit of trace evidence material is useful to us. A hollow point bullet can collect debris in layers as it goes through successive layers of clothing or skin and indicate the sequence of materials that it perforated that may be of some use forensically. So here is a nine millimeter silver tip bullet that collected material in the cavity forming a dense plug. That dense plug prevented the bullet from expanding. And here on side view, you can see the material that is plugged the, uh, the tip, and you can see that there is minimal expansion of the nose. And this bullet, again, would act like a full metal jacket. It would be non, essentially non-deforming. It would not leave fragments uh, of bullet material along the wound track. In a, another paper depicting the characteristic appearance of gunshot wounds made by hollow point bullets. I showed that uh, at, if a hollow point bullet strikes the skin at a certain angle, the cup at the nose of the bullet will frequently cut out, like a cookie cutter, a circle of skin. In most cases, that circle of skin is transported with the bullet or lost in the wound track. But in other times, it is retained at the skin surface, and you can see it attached to a, uh, the margin of the wound by a bridge of tissue. And concomitant with that is a very sharply circumscribed margin of the wound itself. This is an example of what I'm talking about. You have a gunshot wound here, and it has this plug of uh, skin in the central portion which can easily be pulled back so that the hollow nose cavity slapped the skin here, cut a circle, but didn't drag it with it, left it attached, and it was there to be found at autopsy. Here's another example of it. You can see a very sharply circumscribed wound here with a circular peg there. This is the wound of entrance on Lieutenant Oliver's body, a very sharply circumscribed wound. This is the skin wound itself of gunshot wound A. This is a, a section that was prepared by Dr. Bell to examine under the microscope. And this is the, where the bullet actually went through the skin surface at this point. And you can see it, it's hemorrhagic and there's um, particles of anthracotic material consistent with the gunshot residue present in the wound margin. Here is a high, high power micro photograph showing the hemorrhagic tissues or the, the tissues that have been disrupted by the passage of the bullet and have bleeding uh, associated with that. Now, that's under the normal light microscope using standard histolo histologic techniques. I also employ uh, polarized light, which can show the presence of foreign materials that are polarizable, such as uh, polyester fibers and such. And in Lieutenant Oliver's wound, you can see that there are polarizable fragments of material, which indicates one thing to me. We saw the defect in, in Lieutenant Oliver's shirt. Now you see the material, uh, the foreign material in the wound track. This indicates, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that the bullet that struck Lieutenant Oliver struck something else first, namely his shirt, because it drove fragments of polarizable fibrous material into the wound margin. Again, this is the defect wound uh, in the wound of entrance in Lieutenant Oliver's shirt on the left side of his body. It has removed a plug of clothing and clothing bits would be fragmented and driven into the wound depths, indicating that this bullet that went through his body would first have to strike his shirt. <clears throat> now, Dr. Bell also 
uh, prepared the skeletal diagram showing the uh, fracture of left rib seven. I have photographs of the uh, autopsy findings in the static display. I did not consider them appropriate for public viewing, but they can be made available uh, with the static display for your purpose. <clears throat> but they show very definitely that uh, bony material had been removed from rib seven as a result of the passage of the bullet. Now in the crime scene, it becomes important to, to us to understand uh, what was found and when it was found. There are two crime scene reports. One on the day of the, of the incident, day of the shooting, and the next day, uh, during daylight hours, a, a walkthrough again was uh, achieved, and on day two, bullet